What happens to your little gravy line on your head? King of it. Rule your own world. We're the terrible tourists. Can we got our car stuck in the snow. Got ourselves a little bit of a pickle. Amy's just in the heat again, loving life. We're going to dig the snow out from underneath. Oh, we're still uh, under the engine. Yeah, I think we might be in the right position. Oh, Good work, great work, lads. This is the moment of truth. Okay, now we. Okay. Whee! Uh-oh. Morning. morning! So we woke up in the lab this morning. We smell like a fire and we wet want dog. We smell us right now. So right now we are going to see more rangers, which I can't wait. There's loads of them and you can hand feed these and they'll be right next to you. So this place is called Tromso Arctic Reindeer Experience. Storytelling with Amy Bannister. Tell you a ghost story. <laughs> Sorry for the rush, guys. We uh, we woke up late. I'm not sure how because we was in that big tent with all the wind and stuff. Was we? We was in that big tent. Uh, and then our car got stuck in the snow, so we had to get help. So we, we got here a bit late, and it was all a bit of a, a faff. Oh my god! You have to come here, though. Look how amazing it is. This is just the inside. We've literally got like over 300 reindeers. They're all outside. A little bit wet though, but we don't mind. You just get yourself a bucket and then they all just come to you. Like um, the real like domesticated ones, isn't they? They're not wild. Yeah. So they want to be a friend, which is great news for me. And they're nice, so yeah. cute though. We walked out there and they all started coming up to us and I was like, yes, this is what I want. This is what I came for. So I can't wait to go and feed them now. Should we go now? Let's, Let's go, go now. Will you please just have a look at this? This is just unreal, Craig. Honestly, there's so many of them. It's on such a wicked spot as well. It's a little bit cloudy today, but there's a fjord out there, mountains in the back. There's little huts with coffee and fire, and it's just a little magical winterland. Winter wonderland, isn't it? Yes, Craig. Yes, it is. You see that boat there? So I'm going to buy that and I'm going to do it up and then I'll adopt a few of my favourites and I'm just going to live here. This is my spot. Previous I, I, can life. Tell, I can tell you're not scared. That's no, the thing. no, well, I used to work with dogs a lot, yeah, and they yeah. some big dogs yeah. as well. Yeah, because if you, because you can just do like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they're not scared. They want to attack you. They you're go. gorgeous. Oh, I love it. it. You just go. Yay! <laughs> Hey, push him down. I'm not sure, but it's nice. At least look like you're having fun. <laughs> Like, no, I don't want the bucket. You're so scared of this, in you? No, I'm not scared. Like, I, I want to just get somewhere where they're not just going mental. I just want a few there. 
So the lady said that they're going a bit skittle because they're pregnant. <laughs> but this seems to be working. No one's spotted the bucket yet. <laughs> Show them the dominance that you have, Craig. They're coming. They're coming. She looks evil. <laughs> They're lush and they. How does it feel? You look like a natural. Hi, Dave. Where's your turns. Fair is fair. So, uh, have you got any questions for me then? Because um, I'm actual professional now. No. I'm going to head to the Reindeer Olympics 2020. You and Reindeer Girl like BFF now. She's like, you should come work and you're like, ha ha ha, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, she's really nice, aren't she? Like, Do you know what? Nice. I think her name's Amy. Shut up. I think it might be. Maybe she's the, uh, like, Norwegian... At the half. Parallel. Yeah! There's nothing here for you, bud. Sorry, fella. You're so soft, though. Um, but yeah, brilliant. They're just everywhere. So nice. This is like, a true experience, isn't it? Yeah, like, there was a, there's a lady here. She's from Oslo which is in Norway down south but even for her she's like this is the first time and she's so magical I was yeah. like yeah it is it's so love cool love it and then, like when you hold your hand out they like lick it like, nah, 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 nah. yeah oh lush <laughs> yeah so cute man <laughs> so got a little vegetable okay kind of like a yeah, soupy how would you describe that? I don't know. Yeah, it's like a thick soup and it's lovely. Yeah, it's really good. It's like so warm as well. You find the fire just warming up. So we're going out in a bit for round four to feed some more reindeers and hopefully we don't get attacked this time. <laughs> How was your little time with the reindeer? It was good, but the only thing for me is I've got such bad circulation, my hands just go so painful and cold. Yeah. When you're holding the camera, I'm just like, oh, it's horrible. But like, so cool. And they like, some of them come right up to you, and even if you haven't got food, they sort of put their chin on your hand like this. <laughs> Where's my food? Yeah. Now we're heading back to town, back to Toronto. So hopefully if the weather clears, we'll be doing an Aurora base camp tonight, which is really cool. They've got little huts with fire similar to this. And then if there's northern lights, you can go outside and watch them and take photos and whatnot. So fingers crossed for that. And then after that, we've got another magical place to stay tonight. How lucky are we though? We've been so jammy. It's always been like a friend of a friend who's got a place or like, yeah, companies are just saying they want to work with us and they you know, want us to come and film. It's great because like otherwise it'd be quite expensive but I think if you came here for a week and you picked like two or three activities and then had days in between to just see the sights, mm. you should have a great trip and it wouldn't be that expensive. Just wicked here though, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to like tot up how much this whole week would cost yeah. for what we've done but you can definitely do it cheaper. Bare paper. Yeah, I know. So everything we've done on this trip will be linking underneath the videos and we'll do like an overall blog post at some point so we'll link that. As well. Cheers. Good night. I look like a drowned rat now though, don't I? Literally, best day of my life. Just love animals and their faces, like their little snouts. So cute. I want one. And just when they come up to you and you're just like, hello chicken, and they're just like, oh yeah. I love it. No, they're like, no, I'm not a chicken. And they're like, where's the food, babes? It's made my life such an experience though. Even if you just come to Norway just to do that, it is worth it. Okay, so we're in the Radisson Blue. We came in here to just use their plugs and... And their warmth. And their warmth. <laughs> uh, we were supposed to be going to the dome tonight, but it's not, it's not built, it's not ready. So we were chanting it, left it last minute. But we were supposed to be going back to the camp where we had the lavu last night because they're building these brand new Aurora domes. But the dome we were supposed to stay in isn't ready yet. They haven't built it or they're building it, but it's not finished. Yeah. So we're gutted, we're missing that. Um, so we've just booked a hotel now and we're going to go there just to recharge and whatnot. We and need then, a shower, man. Yeah, we need yeah. a shower. I smell like Dinky. a reindeer. Um, and then 
we've got an aurora camp tonight but it's looking pretty cloudy so the chances are that's probably going to be cancelled so this new place has got a pool and a sauna so we're just going to go there chill out and then see what happens that's the thing with tromso if you're going to come here you've got to be prepared to be flexible with your trips and stuff because yeah, time. the weather is pretty un unpredictable here you're about to kill someone yeah honestly like if you've got a hotel parking should be free so i spent about 40 minutes fighting with the parking machine which is crap i scanned my card about 100 times and then eventually accepted it and then there's like buttons to add how much money you want to add at the time so i like press them all a few times nothing happened press one as hard as i could and then it was like 10 kroner and so i spent like 40 minutes and went just jabbing the button as hard as i could to try and rack up the time 22 pound to park 22 pounds till nine in the morning absolutely daylight robbery because i think we're in one of the cheapest hotels and it's 81 pound a night yeah so uh, there you go drums are wing cheap on a lighter note we're staying in the St. Saint Elizabeth's Hotel. In the St. Elizabeth's Hotel, I can't say. Staying in the St. Elizabeth's Hotel, which is right smack bang in the middle of Tromso. £81 a night, Bloody standard rip double off. room, free tea and coffee. Bloody rip off. Let's go in the room. By the way, we're downstairs. Picked up a few flyers. We've only got one day left, but we haven't really got many plans for tomorrow, have we? Don't so make any either. No. <laughs> so this is our little shack. This is what. 125,000 pound gets you. I know. <laughs> yes. This is, this is it. Okay, working. Kids drawing on the wall. No, it's a stitch, that is. Wow. Pretty. Could have done better than that, can they? Pretty. And then, this is the bathroom, which is nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a bath. Fuming. I know, there's no bath. But, like, if anyone lives in Tromso, like, I'll pay you decent wedge to have a bath in your house. What happens to your little gravy line on your head? I'm not sure. I think we're at it died, it broke. So. <laughs> your little fringe. <laughs> don't suck the neck. Oh. One, two, three, bye! bye.